Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of surface area. This is standard 8.7b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 45 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a very basic rectangular prism here, and we need to find the total surface area in square inches. And we have the base, the, and we've got the height. So we've got everything we need. There is going to be no multiple choice to choose from, no A, B, C, or D. So we're going to have to do this calculation very, very closely. So if we look at our surface area on the mathematics chart, you're going to see that there's two of them. Right, so there's lateral, and then there's surf, total surface area. So lateral is when you are just looking at, not the bases, but the four rectangles uh, that connect those. So you've got the top, this back side here, you've got the bottom, and then this little front side here. So that's the lateral surface area. And the perimeter times height, that's going to be your, uh, your equation for that. You find the perimeter of the base, uh, and then you just multiply that by the height. If you want the total surface area, you need the lateral surface area, because that's going to pick up your four uh, rectangular faces there. And then you just need to add, and it's going to give you 2b which makes sense. We need to grab uh, this base right here and then just double it because it's on both sides. So we still need to piecemeal it a little bit. So let's look at this lateral surface area uh, equation that we've got right here. So we've got P times height. So we literally need to find the perimeter of our base right here. So the perimeter, remember, is double the length plus double the height, or you can just, or double the width, I guess. You can just add it four times, but uh, let's see, that's going to be 2 times 2 plus 2 times 3.4, the length of my width. So that's going to equal 4 plus, let's see, that's 6.8. All right, so all that work, our perimeter is going to be 10.8. Now what we do is we multiply this perimeter times the height simply because each of these four sides right here connects with one of our rectangular faces. So if you multiply each of those four sides, which is kind of represented in that perimeter because we added all four sides, by the height, you would actually get the area of each of these four faces. So P times height is going to equal 10.8 times, and then I've got my 8. Point two. So we could do that manually, but since we've got access to a calculator, let's just do that. 10.8 times 8.2, and that's going to equal 88.56, and we're inches squared. So that's my lateral surface area, the four rectangular faces. Now I need to find uh, the base, and I just need to double it. So double the base. It's going to mean 2 times, and then it's uh, length times width. So my length times width is going to be my 2 times 3.4. So this could be 2 times 6.8. So if we double 6.8, we are going to get 13.6. And so our perimeter then is just going to uh, feed into that double the base. And there we go. Now I've got these two I just need to add up and add my 13.6 plus my 88.56. I'm going to get 102.16. You have to add these two up right there. And then obviously we need to bubble it in. So let's just make sure we get that correct here. Right, you've got your 16 right here, and you got 102 over here. You don't need that last spot, so there's your answer.